This week on the Modified World, I'm hooking up a frenum ladder. That's right, so stay tuned. So welcome to the Modified World. It's the weekly web show about body modification, the people who do it, the people who get it, and why it matters. I'm your host, I'm JC Potts, I'm the senior piercer. Over here at Pangea Piercing in beautiful sunny downtown Ann Arbor, Michigan. I purvey internet wackiness, or so they tell me. And this week, well this week I had a nice young man come by 18th birthday. You know I do a lot of 18th birthday piercings and a lot of times it's young ladies getting their nipples done. However, this one was a little different. This time we actually got to have a nice young man come in. Let me blingify his junk. was kind of a gift. Mm -hmm. One of my exes is a piercer and she had never done a genital piercing before and I cheated on her and I got caught and so for my penance for me to show that I was actually really sorry I let her pierce my dick and needless to say that's an apology <laughs> needless to say it was that was not a fun one it was probably the most painful piercing I got even though it was just a frenum because two we did it at the house and it was one of those things that, well, we were both working in studios, so one of us brought home jewelry and one of us brought home appropriate tool, but lines of communication got crossed and we had one gauge needle and a bigger gauge of jewelry and no taper. So, and we did not discover this until the needle was already in my dick. So, you know, to her eternal credit, she was able to foot stomp that in there, but I don't recommend it. <laughs> Alright brother, last one. I'm just gonna get lined up. Last one. He actually even specifically asked for eight gauge barbells, which, hey, you know, I was gonna do them at 12, man, but hey, dude, wanna roll hard, kick ass, let's roll hard. And he did really well, took it like a total man. Well, let me tell you something, though, about frenum ladders. You know, multiple frenum piercings. The frenum being the piercing that goes through the skin of the penis, generally on the bottom. You just pull it out like that and go sideways through it. Sounds real easy, and generally it is. But getting them to line up, real difficult. I wish I could show you the uncensored version of this to be able to show you exactly how precise and accurate they are. It's probably the best frenum ladder I've done. And I don't mind doing them. Thing is though is frenum ladders, scrotum ladders, two different things. I'll tell you, with a scrotum ladder, anybody who's got a scrotum or has carefully examined them for any length of time will know that they move and change a lot depending on temperature and level of danger about you and all this type of stuff. There's a lot of variations and you know factors to figure in. So it's real hard to get those marks all lined up. If you get four piercings in your scrotum, you almost gotta almost expect one of them to be a little a little wonky. With a frenum though, it's not too hard. Draw a center line down the middle and then work your way up from that, you know, trying to make sure that it's centered and level. Skin goes all over the place. So I clamp them too to make sure that my skin stays where it's supposed to and to make it a little easier on the people when you go and actually do the push. Not a big deal though. Took it really well and Hopefully we'll be seeing him again really soon to see how he's healing up. Oh, something I have been thinking about since I've got you guys. I've had a lot of people mentioning and saying that, man, I could almost talk about any topic and they'd listen just to hear the sound of my voice or, you know, and somewhat because I guess I bring something to the table and I guess I make it somewhat interesting. 
So this is something I'm thinking about, about maybe doing like a live stream or some sort of like podcast type thing. Probably not a podcast though, because I am very video oriented. But hey, you know, I, you know, I listen to Joe Rogan every now and then, or I watch him on the YouTubes and stuff. So I'm thinking about doing something along those lines. Let me know what you think, of course, in the section down below. And, uh, you know, that was about it this week, huh? you know? Staying really busy making the jewelries and doing the videos and stabbing the happy peoples and working on global domination. Or at least, well, we'll start with North America first. But exciting things are happening. And I'll be letting you all know more and more as the time goes on. So... Hey, stop back by next week. We'll have more of the modified world.